What's up guys? Paul here, Service Garage. Uh, I promised you guys a video on how to make clamps for the welding table. Uh, so you can go to weldtables.com and get, uh, get a clamp. They're roughly 50 bucks. Or you can do it my way and I'll show you how to make them for about five bucks each. So let's get to it. All right guys, so the clamp you want to get is, uh, it's from Harbor Freight and it's the Pittsburgh uh, item number 96210. It's a quick release bar clamp. Uh, it's adjustable. Make sure when you, when you check them out that the threads all move nice and easy. It's got little plastic protectors on it. Use those if you want. And then it slides up and down. So you just adjust this guy right here. It slides up and down, right? So that, so you'll need however many of these you want, right? Uh, and then uh, get yourself some steel bar. It's a 5 8 inch diameter. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld that onto the bottom, we're gonna take this guy off and weld this in place at a slight angle. All right guys, so before we get started on making uh, one of these, I just wanted to show you exactly what we're making. So I went ahead and made two, uh, super simple. So as before, you saw this guy, right? Which I turned in to this guy, right? So essentially, we're gonna knock this pin off right here. This pin right here, we're gonna knock that off, we'll grind it down, then we'll hit it with a punch a couple times and, and then get this guy off. And then we'll clean up the, the, the black uh, coating on here to keep that keeps from rusting. That way you have nice shiny metal for welding. So anyway, once that's done, we're gonna cut this piece, the 5 8 inch round bar, prep it for welding and it's, it's two inches long, and then we'll weld it on the tip, right in the center as best we can, all the way around. Make sure I keep that in the shot. And then, well, exactly what it's used for is that you can drop it in these holes, right? So it goes right in, and then you can bring it down to whatever you're working on, and then you twist it, and then as you twist it, it rocks back and locks, I mean, it's tight. I can't pull that out. And it just holds your, your material down to the table, right? And it comes off, and it pulls right out. So uh, we're gonna use these two to, to make one. Um, what I used before was a, C, uh, a couple C-clamps right on the edge of my table here. And, uh, and, and once this was off, I just uh, set it down here. I used some washers, try to get that in the shot here. Use some washers as, a, as spacers to help make everything center and then clamped everything down and, uh, and, and welded it with the TIG welder. So, all right, uh, let's get started by disassembling this guy. So here we are, got it disassembled. So this is the piece. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a one degree. So it's not gonna be a perpendicular cut to this. It's gonna be one degree to put a slight angle. Um, so when it sits, it actually tilts in like this. So when the clamp comes down, it'll push like that, straighten up, and then that's what's gonna jam it in the hole here, right? So it'll go like this and then lock in place. So we'll clean this up, we'll cut that, we'll cut our 5 8 inch round bar, clean everything up, and prep for welding. 
All right, guys, as a reminder, uh, make sure that when you cut your degree on this, the one degree, that you think about it and it's facing the correct direction. Otherwise, you could cut it uh, so it tilts back when it's sitting down. So uh, for me, I've angled my, my guide here like this. So that means I want to have it in place on here like that. So you should do the same. Okay, all prepped, ready to go. Uh, what you didn't see me do off camera was I, I hit this with the wire wheel, clean that up, and then you can see I put a bevel in it. I did that on both sides, and that gives a little more room for uh, filler material to get in there and help strengthen this up. And you can see I've got my spacers underneath to help center everything. And then above, you can see, or just kind of see each part of the actual clamp itself. Each side sticks out a little bit further than the actual a 5 8 inch dowel or excuse me uh, round bar which is good so that way when it when it goes down in the hole it doesn't just fall all the way through so kind of helps keep it above the table so anyway uh, let's get to welding using the setup done so all four complete uh, some notes cost me about five bucks each to make uh, these are Harbor Freight clamps so you get what you pay for like this one's you know crooked a little bit from the factory this one is straight up and down this one's off center right in here this one's straight up and down but they work and uh, so you know for instance like the whole table moves right so if I loosen this up as you can see it moves pretty freely and then I just tighten this down until it gets tight that's it and the whole table is locked in place. I mean, they, they work really well. So uh, again, five bucks each. You can buy some really good ones online, 50 bucks a pop. But uh, you know, you, you are getting what you pay for. So you know, I don't expect these to last very long, but as long as I'm nice to them. But uh, you know, if they do fail, I'll probably upgrade from something from Lowe's or Home Depot, clamp wise. And then once again, weld on that uh, 5 8 inch diameter steel rod that's two inches long on the, on the bottom end of it. And there you go. Still gonna be cheaper than buying online, but there is something to be said for the convenience. So anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me give you a preview of what's coming next. Yep, just clamped together. All right guys, 